Hello, ladies. <laughs> I am going to do something that I have, I don't normally do, and that is I'm going to try to do a full glam look. I have um, some red carpet-like events coming up in the month of May and June, and so I kind of want to practice a little bit because I don't normally use this buff brush, which will give me a full, full coverage. I normally go with something light to medium, and so I really want to try this brush and see if I get a really full, glammed up coverage. I'm going to do like a smoky eye and the whole thing, okay? So, come along with me and we'll see what happens, you know? We'll just see. Um, I have an event tonight that will be a good practice, basically, for um, the other events that I have that are coming up that are extra, extra special in the month of May and June. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I definitely want to take um, the smaller end and I'm going to go into, do I want the smaller end? Yes, into my contour. All right, and I am going to really get in there and try to get a good amount of color on my brush. You see, I'm kind of hot right now. I just got through doing my hair, so I've got a lot of redness going on, but the color I'm going to use for my highlight will be able to cover that up, most of that redness. Okay, come a little bit underneath there. I don't do too much up here, but I am going to put some up here. I did also some self-tanner today. All right, now, to do my nose contour, I'm going to use my finger because I just feel like I get more control. I'm just not very practiced with the buff brush, but that's why we're doing it, right? It's going to be fabulous, just like tonight's red carpet event. Okay, so I'm going to go in to my main highlight, and I'm going to put this around... In a couple of places where yeah it definitely gives a much fuller coverage than what I'm used to right it's because the bristles are dense and so it's definitely going to lay down more product I put highlight even on my eyes as an eyeshadow primer basically so all right then I'm gonna go into my brightener Ooh, okay I definitely may have gotten too much on the brush, but you know what? Let's play around with it. Let's see what happens. I'm going to do that little contour trick that I've seen out there where you put a little bit of extra right underneath that uh, contour line, like of your brightener, and it's going to be extra, extra facelift. Okay, so now I'm going to flip to the more, the bigger end, okay, and I'm going to start... I'm going to start with the lighter colors, and I'm just going to start blending this out. I am going to blend that contour into it and up into my hairline a little bit. All right. I don't know why I'm squinting. It doesn't make much sense. Okay. One reason I've always been concerned about the more full coverage brush is because as a mature woman, I don't want a lot of product under my eye. So I'm still going in with a tapping motion as I'm blending this out because I want to make sure I keep that really from, uh, you know, not to putting too much product on the actual under eye area. I want to have coverage, obviously, or I wouldn't be doing that. But... I've got to make sure I don't put too much down in one place because it's going to accentuate things that I don't really want accentuated. Like all those little fine lines and wrinkles. Okay, I have my mirror kind of off to the side here, so I'm going to take a quick glance in there. It is definitely way more coverage than I'm used to, but hey. Tonight's going to be a fancy night. Fancy date night. All right, here we go. Let's see. All right, I'm going to show y'all a trick to get... Okay, 
I have silver hair. If you have really light hair or you too have silver hair, we get makeup in the ed in the corner of our hair and our hairline and we don't want that to show. So I'm gonna show you a trick at the end on how to fix that. So don't sweat it right now, okay? All right, looks like I need a little bit more contour maybe on this side right here or I blended too high with my, with my other. Okay, all right. Now then, uh, my dress is a magenta and red combination. I know that sounds strange, but it's very pretty on. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into, this is Sangria. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I love it, okay. So I'm gonna just put that on my cheeks. I am gonna use this full coverage brush, the buff, to blend it, but I always start, because I am a mature skinned woman, I start at the hairline with the majority of the color, and I'm gonna blend up with my brush, okay? So I wanna blend my contour and my blush together. It is gonna seem like a lot right now, but I promise I'm gonna really blend it out and get it smoothed out where it doesn't look like it's so much product. But you also notice if I start back here, I'm lifting my face the whole time, especially if I blend up with my contour, I'm gonna lift that face. I don't wanna pull down and make my face come down, right? Gravity's doing enough of that as it is. I wanna keep everything high and lifted. There's a song about being high and lifted up, but we won't, I won't sing for y'all tonight. That's another video. Okay. All right. I do still put a little bit on my, the apples of my cheeks, like right here. But if I get, again, if I get too much product of any kind right there, it's really gonna settle into those lines and wrinkles. And I don't really want those being any more prominent than they already are, okay? I just don't. Okay, now, all right. I think that looks pretty good. So let's move on to some brows. As mature women, our brows, oh my goodness, our brows, we really need to make sure we're filling them in because as we age, they get sparse, they start to thin out. I just use my contour or a contour color. This is not actually the one I used on my face. It's a darker one called Cola. And because my eyebrows are still a dark color, they're just getting thinner. So I'm gonna put little strokes, okay, in and just then take the spoolie end and brush those up. These are not twins. Eyebrows are not twins, okay? They don't need to look perfectly symmetrical. They're sisters. So as long as they look like they belong on your face <laughs> and, you know, you're good to go. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm going to hold that brush out because I might use it for some eyeliner here in a minute. Okay. Now, I want to go ahead. I like to go ahead and just line my lips. So, I'm going to go into this color right here, indigo. And I'm going to line right on the edge of my lip where it meets my skin, my face. Now, I don't particularly like to overdraw. You can, that's totally up to you. But I just like to get it right up to the edge. And I will go ahead and fill that in, especially tonight. I'm gonna be doing a lot of talking, so it's gonna help keep my lipstick in place. And as we age, again, I'm giving you the mature woman's perspective here, okay? So, oh, sorry about that. As we age, our lips start to get fine lines as well, okay? And in order to keep our lipstick from bleeding up into those fine lines or crawling in there, a lip liner is a must. And I just use this contour because it's a little bit thicker than like a natural, you know, than my highlight. And so it's gonna just hold better for me, all right? Okay, so now let's think about eyes, okay? I want to first prime my eye. And I did put an all over, um, my highlight all over, but I'm going to take this color right here. This is one of our cream eyeshadows. It's called Tangled. You can see it right here. And it has just a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't call it even a shimmer. It's just like a sheen. Oh, that's giving a glare in it. Sorry about that. All right. And I use it 
as an eyeshadow primer and just an all over base. You see it already has brought a little bit of light to my face. It's gonna help those other colors set because it is a cream, but it's also going to, um, they'll adhere longer, you know, they'll stay long, but they're gonna be more vibrant because they're gonna be more true to their actual color, okay? All right, so let's take this brush right here, the smudge. Um, where's my smudge brush? Actually, this we'll use this one right here. Oh, no, I'll use this one. Okay, I'll just keep talking to myself. All right, and the first thing I think I wanna do is I wanna go into this color right here. This is Chai, and I'm just going to put this on my hood. Now, with a hooded eye, I want to make sure that I'm putting a matte shade on that hood as much as possible. It doesn't mean I can't use a shimmer, okay? But if I start with a matte, it's going to help that, that hood kind of recede, and so it won't be as prominent if I want to use a shimmer later, okay? But I'm just putting this kind of neutral color down, but we're gonna smoke this out. We're gonna to try to do like a brown, smoky eye. I don't know why I chose brown, but we're doing it. We're going, we're in. Okay, so the next color I'm gonna use is this color right here. Oop. It is Coco. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's just a beautiful like espresso brown. So I'm gonna go in with this rounded thicker end and I'm gonna put that right on the outer corner and above the crease. I'm gonna go back and forth while I'm blending that out because I don't wanna put a lot of color on my lid because I have a hooded eye. You're not gonna see it anyway. It's gonna disappear. So I wanna come above the crease. You're not gonna see my crease because of the hooded eye anyway. So I wanna put the majority of the color on the outer edge. It's gonna make me look more awake, okay? and more, my eyes gonna look more open, but also it's going to keep the color above the crease so it doesn't just fade out on me. I don't lose it when I open my eye. See, okay. So now I'm gonna turn over to that other end and I'm just gonna make sure I am totally blended with that, okay? Again, this is a matte, I chose two mattes tonight. You can put a shimmer down there on the outer corner. You can do shimmer anytime you want to, or glitter for that matter, but this is just kind of the look I was going for tonight. Um, okay, so now I wanna go into this color right here, cause we're gonna add a little, we're gonna jazz this up a little bit. All right, first of all, I am gonna use this cocoa on the bottom, all right? I'm gonna go with a little bit thinner brush and I'm gonna put it right in my eyelashes, my bottom lashes, about the outer, third, maybe half, but I'm not gonna come all the way into the corner, okay? And I kinda wanna connect that at the corners. So I just wanna make sure that's connected. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with this little fluffy end. This is Snowbird, and I think this is like a beautiful, kinda bronzy brown. And I'm gonna put some of this with that right underneath, and I'm gonna come a little bit farther in when I do it. Now I'm using a fluffy end because in order to get that smoky eye, I wanna really blend that out. Put a little bit right in the outer corner, okay? All right, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. I can't see very well, half blind. Okay, all right, okay, okay. All right, now then, I'm gonna go in with my favorite, one of my favorite, absolute favorite colors, which is Blondie. And I'm gonna put it right on the inner corner. Look at the bright, oh my goodness, I love it. It just brings so much joy to me. It is bright. It is glam, totally, all right? Let's make sure that everything is blended, those edges, that it doesn't just run over that other color. Let's blend it out. Then I'm gonna take this little pointy end right here. It's still fluffy, but I'm gonna go into this blondie, and I'm gonna make sure I get some 
right in that inner corner and on the bottom lashes. What do y'all think? Oh, I love that. I think that's so pretty. Okay, so I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm going to take my, this is another cream eyeshadow that we have called Arabian Nights. And I'm going to take my stiff, my line brush, which is what I use to do my eyebrows. But I'm going to use this as a liner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take little short strokes right at the lash line. Now, I'm not putting a really thick line here because, again, I would lose it with my hood. But do you see how that just added a little extra something? It makes my eyelashes look fuller. And who doesn't want that, right? But I'm putting little short strokes right next to each other of this dark brown. It's a cream, so it's going to go on super smooth. I think that is so pretty. Okay, so pretty. Now, I know a lot of people don't believe in doing the waterline and all that stuff, but I tell you what, we're going super glam tonight, right? So this is a brown pencil that I have, and I'm just gonna do right underneath those lashes as well, because guess what? I really want my lashes to stand out tonight, right? We're glamming it up, all right? Ooh, I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to use a primer on my upper lashes. I've already curled them, but I'm going to use a primer on my upper lashes. Ooh, see, I'm not real versed in all of this primer stuff, but we're going to do it tonight because why not? We're getting glam, friends. We are getting red carpet ready because I have some red carpet fancy, fancy events coming up and I'm practicing, okay? All right, now then, we're gonna kinda let that settle for just a second and we're gonna go in with the lip color I'm gonna use. So this is a long wear lipstick. It is a crayon. And yeah, I know it's bright. It's gonna look great with that dress. I'll post a picture of the dress with everything in the comments so you can see the whole look. Okay, now then, I'm gonna go in with my mascara. You just use your favorite one. I've got a couple more tricks I'm gonna show you, so hang with me. I know it's been 15 minutes, but hang in there. Oh, that's good. I can show you all the trick I have for that, too. Okay. Our first instinct anytime we get mascara everywhere is to immediately rub it off. And what usually happens is we smear it everywhere. So, I do not want to smear my mascara all over my nose, even though that's where I got it. It kind of looks like I've got a nose ring or something on there. But I want to get it off. I also got a little bit underneath my lashes on this, on my left eye. So, I'm going to show you in just a minute. We're going to let it dry though, okay? We're going to let it dry. And then we're just going to be able to get it right off. Okay? And it's not going to mess up our whole look. Now, that was a big old clump. That was not on my face. It was just a clumpy clump. Okay. So, okay. Now, sometimes this mascara clumps just a hair too much for me. So, I just take my spoolie and kind of from behind, pull it through my lashes, and it won't be so clumpy. It kind of separates my lashes a little bit more. Okay. All right. And then I got half of that off because now I need to put a little bit more right on the edges. Just falling apart, ladies. Falling apart. Okay. All right. Now then. Okay. There is a couple ways you can get this. I told you I was going to show you how I get makeup out of my hair. There's a couple ways you could do it. You could use like a... Um, you could use like a, a wet wipe or, what, or like a makeup wipe. But for me, that gets my hair wet. 
I don't really want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my brush cleaner and I'm gonna spray it on just like a little cotton pad, okay? Just a little bit. Remember, this dries down, right? It dries down. It's not greasy. It's not gonna leave a residue. And I'm just gonna take it and put it right on my hair. Look at that. <gasps> Isn't that awesome? So you can just take it, because remember this dries like in seconds. It's not like a wet wipe or a makeup remover wipe that's going to keep my hair wet for a few minutes. It's just totally, I'll do it on the other side over here. I'm just spraying a couple little spritzes on there. You don't have to do a whole lot. And then I just pull my hair where I can see it. Oh shoot, I wasn't even on camera. Do it like that. And you see my hair's dry. It's not making my hair wet or oily or anything else. It just totally gets that right out of my hair. Okay, let's take this little clip down. All right. Ah, so excited. Okay, now then, let me show you how I get rid of this mascara because I'm looking crazy. All right, I'm gonna take just a Q-tip and look at that. It flakes right off. All right, let me, other end. Look, flakes right off. All right, nice. Okay, then, Let's take that brush. Let's make sure that I've got just a tad bit. I mean, not much at all now, tad bit of my brightener on there. And I'm gonna go right at the corner of that eye and go underneath just a hair, because with the smoky eye, we can easily get some fallout down, and we don't want that, right? We don't want fallout underneath our eye of eyeshadow, okay? All right. All right, make sure that looks good. Okay, now let's do this. I want some, we need some illuminator. I mean, there's just no question about it, right? We need illuminator. And I'm thinking we need to go like powder illuminator because that's like totally glam. So I'm gonna take this brush right here. And I think I'm gonna go into this one that is, um, let's use Glamazing. I'm gonna go really super light, okay? Right on the tip of my nose. You can already see how that is like light, just bringing light. Just bring in light. I'm gonna go right on my cheekbone, and then I'm gonna flip that fluffy brush. Okay, ooh, girls, we are looking camera ready. Whoop, drop my brush, camera ready tonight. This is totally red carpet, totally. Ooh, I like that, okay. <gasps> oh, I know what, one more thing, one more thing. Ah, one more thing, where'd my little brush go? Oh, where's my brush go? All right, I'm gonna use my lip brush, the multitasker. Y'all know I'm a hot mess. No, I'm not. I'm gonna use this one because this is the one I could find. Detail, little brush right there. Look, do you see how that just lifted that eye? Ah, so good. So good. I am gonna be the glam princess tonight. Okay, make sure I get that. I wanna make sure I get just a little bit right there. Okay, then, all right, so, I mean, I'm excited. This is such a cute look. Okay, and I'll do the finished look with all the jewelry and all that down in the comments, okay? I'll put a picture for y'all. I'm gonna put a little bit. Mm. okay. Finished look, what do y'all think? Red carpet, look at that. Woo! Look at that highlight, that illuminator. Wow, I love it. Love it. Okay, all right, that's it, that's the finished look. I realized it was a little bit longer than a lot of my other videos, but you know what? Honey, it's worth it. You are worth it, my friend. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, bye.